We're at 12.15, we received a call of an aircraft crash. Multiple structures that were fully involved with fire. We had an aircraft that has confirmed, a portion of the aircraft confirmed crash in the back of one of the homes. We also had multiple vehicles on fire, including a large box truck that is right across the street. Uh, our primary concern when we got on scene was obviously the extinguishment of the fire and treatment of any victims. So we did have two victims that were transported to local hospitals. Uh, we extinguished the fire with the, with the help of multiple crews. Uh, we do have multiple confirmed fatalities. We do not know exactly how many, and that's what we're waiting for as we kind of pivot into this next investigatory phase to determine the extent of what the damage is to the homes, the number of fatalities, and starting to do kind of a search of some of the areas that we deem as non-survivable. I just heard it getting louder, and like I said, I've been lived in this area a long time. You get kind of where you don't pay attention to stuff unless it's out of the norm, and it started getting so loud that I knew that that was not right. And before I could even react to it, it hit. Okay. Uh, do you know the people that live there? It's mind boggling. You don't even, it's, it's a war zone. It's not even a house, you know, to lose your, your home and your beloved pet at the same time. is just too much, you know, What? The guy that lives here, we ran down to the house on the corner. Denise heard it. I said, Denise, that's home. Where's yours? 